swear it's like every two days somebody's over there overdosing or dying of something. That place is cursed. Hope I don't ever live there. Oh jeez. That can't be good. So continuing from last time, if you break your rear drive shaft in a 4x4, you can obviously drive around in four wheel high and it will be in front wheel drive only. Problem is, is that you're putting the entire weight of the vehicle and all of the strain of the drive shaft onto the front only. And then you end up with this. That's a busted U-joint. So now we gotta change the U-joint. Fine. Not really. <laughs> Axle shaft is it's way out of round. Got everything back apart, the bearings look good. The bounce spring on the lockout hub those not sure how that happened. And of course the U-joint completely disintegrated, which is what caused the axle shaft to bang against the end of the ball joint because of where it was laying down at and it just beat it completely out of round. So what started out with a bad rear drive shaft has now turned into a front axle shaft and a U-joint. Do it nice or do it twice as they say. It's about six in the morning. I just got back from taking Rusty to work. Probably can't hear me too well. Roommates are still sleeping. <sighs> Gotta find a new axle shaft for the Jeep. Order the new rear drive shaft. Uh, it's gonna be a long week. Uh -huh. 